The INC members in the UK and Europe kept busy during the lockdown. Here's Giancarlo Matera joining us live from the United Kingdom Bureau. Gian. Thank you, Alma. Yes, here in the United Kingdom, we have been in lockdown since the 23rd of March, uh, which is over four months ago now. And even though the lockdown restrictions have started to be eased in recent weeks, things here in the UK are still far from returning to the way things were before. And despite this long period of restrictions and prohibitions, we can report on news that the members of the Church of Christ here in the United Kingdom have continued to be active and diligent in holding many activities that help them remain devoted and faithful members of the Church of Christ. Of course, the activities that have been held during the lockdown period have mostly, if not only, been held online through video conferencing. Some examples of these online fitness classes led by a professional fitness instructor, Chris Bowado. He ran a successful mixed martial arts academy before the COVID-19 pandemic, but had to close his academy because of the lockdown. Now, he manages to connect to his clients through online classes and even took time to help his fellow brethren in London keep fit and active during the isolation with free online classes. Another activity held here in the United Kingdom during the lockdown were online cooking tutorials and baking classes. These activities allowed the brethren to spend quality time together despite some being in isolation. They were able to learn new skills and reconnect with one another after some considerable time apart. Lastly, we have news of online makeup classes, which were also held here in London during the lockdown period. The aim of this activity was to help build up the self-confidence and self-esteem of the members of the Church of Christ that were affected by the lockdown. These seminars were led by Mika Domenico, a makeup artist in London who said she was so happy to help her fellow, her fellow members improve their makeup skills and help them enjoy new ways of beautifying themselves even during the pandemic. The online activities of the church that they held have not just been limited to the borders of the British Isles. We have also here with us from the UK, Ashley Espiritu, who will be reporting on the meet and greet activity that took place recently between members of the Church of Christ from here in the United Kingdom and with their fellow members and brethren in Southern Europe. Over to you, Ashley. Thank you, Giancarlo. Yes, early this month, Kadiwa members of the Galeshna Cristo from the districts of the United Kingdom and Southern Europe gathered together for an online meet and greet event through WebEx. Let's take a look. Members of the Iglesia staying connected during the COVID-19 staying connected during the COVID-19 is a challenge. Not everyone is used to keep in touch through the means of modern technology, but for the youth members of the Iglesia Ni Cristo, there's always a creative way to make new connections and nurture friendships. or ACE for short. I am from Singapore, but I'm here in Portsmouth right now to study in university. I'm studying biomed. Yeah, the game was very nerve-wracking for me because I was legit shaking. Everyone was watching me. It was about 150 participants in the game. However, we played the game. Oh, it was so fun. And um, it was really, really engaging. It, 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 it kind of boosted my confidence up speaking to everyone else in, um, in front of everyone. But yeah, looking forward to the games again and um, hopefully more games to come up. You could tell how everyone enjoyed this interactive event online. Even if we're facing these interesting times during the coronavirus outbreak, the Iglesia Cristo continues to conduct activities such as this. 
as a way for the youth to come out of the social isolation and enjoy one another's company even online. From the United Kingdom, I am Arabelle Celestino, UK Bureau Correspondent, and we live in interesting times. Before we continue, for those that don't know, the word Kadiwa in the Iglesia de Cristo are the members who are 18 years old and above who are not married. There were musical performances where the members danced and sang to original Iglesia de Cristo music. There, were also, there was also a slideshow presentation for both the districts where they showed and introduced everyone, showing their name, age, occupation, and their relationship status. And as you saw, they also had icebreaker games. There was also a short segment with a few Kadiwa members and a minister of the Iglesia Cristo and a clinical psychologist. In this segment, they talked about friendships, relationships, and the mental health relating between the two. So there was a lot for the Kadiwa members to engage and listen to. We have seen the Iglesia Cristo hold so many activities. Even during these trying times, nothing stops them from being together and bonding between one another. This activity, however, was a fun way for brethren to see other members from another part of the world. And as it was a Kadiwa event, it was also an opportunity for the people who are ready for a relationship to see who were single. All the more during the pandemic, the members of the Iglesia de Cristo make sure they are holding activities like this so that they can stay strong in their faith and continue to be edified in their membership. Back to you, Alma. All right, thank you very much. You just answered all my questions for you. Thank you, Ashley. You stay safe, stay healthy, and happy 106th anniversary. Thank you, Alma. Yes, again, to all the members of the Iglesia de Cristo all around the world, happy 106th anniversary. I'm Ashley Spiritu, correspondent from London, England. We live in interesting times. All right, thank you very much, Giancarlo Matera and Ashley Espiritu from our EBC United Kingdom Bureau. And here's our